Hi one, hope you are doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now we are in the year 2024, and the KRA is just delivering sad news to the man who embraced the name Zakayo. There was a lot of ambition in Kenya Kwanza in terms of collecting taxes. They had huge targets, and you would see this in the 2023-2024 Finance Bill, which is now Finance Act. And the way they have tried to make sure that they are increasing prices or charges on government services. But what is KRA saying? They fear that they might miss this year's target collection by 300 billion Kenyan shillings. That is the worry. That it seems they cannot raise the target. Ruto has had targets and is working with those targets. So an embarrassment is emerging. The reason behind this, consumers have cut down on eh, fuel, telephone, calls, and eh, mail, among others. Then what we call it a collect dogo, simu apunguza kutumia, na pia mafuta wame apunguza kutumia, na yale majuku mengine ya kimsingi. So people are spending less on high taxed items. They targeted those items. But now they cannot meet the targets because of those reasons. So the question is, where is Ruto heading to? Who was advising Ruto? Has he learned a lesson? As we continue of this discussion, just a quick request. For those who are watching and you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel. Subscribe as a Thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And back to this discussion. Now, when you hear of Ruto's economic advisor, David D, and others, they come in. With all this, they set targets everywhere. For them, they never thought of merit and the merits of what they were implementing. Advantages and disadvantages. How about Angalia is what? Like in Walifikiria, things will just happen normal as they have been. In as much they are making huge changes in terms of uh, taxing items in this country or products. Walifikiria mamba yatakuwa kama kawaida. But if someone had a second thought, on repercussion of the policies they are putting in place to ensure that they collect taxes, they would have had a second thought. The fact remains that the more you increase the price of a commodity, the less the people will be interested in buying that product. The purchasing power has gone low. And Kenyans have learned ways to survive. When Raila said at one point that to sleep, to 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 so what are Kenyans doing? Kuna wenye wanamua tu watatembea badala ya kupanda gari. Kuna wale wameamua tu badala ya kutumia pikipiki watatembea. Mwalimu akienda shule anatumia pikipiki. Sasa hizi mwalimu anaona it's better I just walk to work and come back. In that way I'm also doing exercise. So those who are in the matatu industry they lose, those who are in the bodaboda they lose. Why? Mafuta ilipanda bei na hawa kapandisha bus fare. So the consumer is looking for other ways to survive. Kama uluko nanda trip kama tano kwa siku, inabidi wanda kuenda trip tatu. Izi mbili, zinapotebo kwa sababu, customer hawako wa wingi vile. So you can't just risk. That's what is happening in this country. People are doing coupling. So that means if we are like four people, tungekwana magarenina yiko kwa barabara. But instead, 
we just fuel one car and use it for our transport. In that way, zile magari zingine tatu hazina nunua mafuta, kwa hivyo ushuru wa mafuta hautapatikana. Why? Because people are looking for ways to survive. So kijua ukifikiria umefinya wa Kenya hivi, instead of now getting your targets, you are losing. Because you don't have second thought. Ungefikiria mara ya pili, basi ungeangalia hii ushuru. How can I encourage people to It was all about expanding the tax bracket and how do you do it? Make things affordable so that the purchasing power will go high. When it goes high, you even get those taxes. Tobu wengi watanunua, watahitaji kuwa na starehe zile. Lakini vile unafana hivi, purchasing power inarudi chini. Kama watu wengine walikuwa nakula 3 meals on a day, they are now having two kuna una we can miss lunch we have breakfast and dinner and we survive so people are not buying the way they have been buying before they have looked for a way to survive some people lost their job how do you expect them to come and buy or to merely kununua how do they lose their job over taxation destroyed some businesses so they went home This means that there is no way wataamka kwa saa hizi na hii uchumi ambayo ruta kona. His policies are not good. So, when many people in fact in one of the news they were saying that more than 73,000 Kenyans lost their job within six months. Then you come oh we are missing our target. How do you forget that your policies are so scandalous and dangerous like What wa mchomba say that one point Sasa so, size inabidi wajifunze Huwezi kaa kila kitu gharama iko ya juu na utarajia wa Kenya wanunue tu Ulikuwa umeongezea pesa kwa mfuko wa kununua tu Na wipa are saving and spending little Sasa so, wameanza kujua mwezi tu bali imeanza ni beach lakini wameanza kujiuliza 3 billion ni kama tutapata 300 billion for information Ni kama hii ita, itakunywa maji haitakuja Na ni January tu. So I want to continue in this trajectory. It means every time is going to lose. Now you start failing on your budget. So what do you do? How do you go with your plan? Because you plan according to the budget. Utafanya namna gani? Huyu ndio mtu ataanza kukopa kila siku, anakopa, 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 analitwambia atakopa. Because when you miss your target sasa unaenda mkopo. Ukimiss your target unaenda mkopo. Kama kuna mtu atakopa like every day ni William Samairuto. To meet his target in terms of what he wanted to deliver to the people. Not a delivery go up one and a half years. For me I'm here to see any started and accomplished project under William Samairuto. Sija why you want atamoja. Hakuna So people even are not making calls the way they were making. Sasa hizo wameka ushuru paka kwa kwa, kwa calls. Kinunua airtime kuna ushuru unalipa pale. So it is mambo basic niambia direct ulikuwa nataka kuniambia aje. Mtu akwambie. Sometimes wengine wananunua minutes kama wanataka kuongea for long which is less taxed. Sometimes people just prefer not to call at all. So when they don't call How do you get that tax that you are doing on phone? Chakula. Kuna jamii wangekuwa na uwezo wa kula nyama karibu mara mbili kwa wiki. Waangalia tu watu wa chini kama mimi. But now because the basic commodities zimepanda bei, people are just having maybe one time in a week or even one in two weeks time. So They reduce consumption on eh? meals also. Wanapunguza. Wale walikuwa nakuna chai ya, ya maziwa. Wengine hata wameanza kunywa chai ya strong tea. Just to cut down and make sure that you're not running out of finances. Zile zenye umesave una save. Sababu hata sasa hizi ku invest kwa hii serikali ya William Ruto kuna uoga mwingi. 
So watu wamefika kwa hiyo kiwango. Wengine walikuwa wanunua mkata wanunue saa hizi. Sasa wanasema tununue basic things. Tunaweza chemsha nguo chetu kule na vitu vingine kwa shamba direct. It's not happening that way. Kama mlikuwa mnapika mchele kilo moja watu wameanza kupika half kg. So if you are spending like maybe 4000 kwa mwezi kununua mchele you will find that people have cut down up to maybe a half wanatumia 2000 because sasa even the consumption wamepunguza kwa nyumba si mambo na kushiba ni kukula to sustain yourself to survive so Kenyans are here to survive this also explains the problems Kenyans are going through so as you squeeze Kenyans with your policies it's also exposing that you cannot meet your target because there was no one to explain to you what it mean by making products so much expensive thinking that people will just buy they will not buy so it is time for ruto to learn something here